Hello everybody and welcome to Battletech with the mod extended 3025. This is Dr. Obsidia. Thanks for joining. We are running on the planet of Kirkland and we still have quite a few missions here that we can do. We started kind of easy and we're moving our way up. This is a two skull recovery mission. We just have to pick something up. So it should be pretty simple. It's against the local pirates and pirates tend to never feel anything really useful. Uh, low pay mission, so I don't expect we're going to come up against anything too difficult. Uh, our brawler is here with our hunchback. We are in the highlands. The highlands do have some elevation changes that are pretty fast, so we might want to think about something with jump jets. So I think um, the catapult... Let's see, the archer doesn't have it. The warhammer doesn't have jump jets. Yeah, here we go, our Crusader. We're going to bring our Crusader in. Um, I think I'm going to drop the Thunderbolt in favor of jump jets. Now, Brawler's pretty fast, so we're going to go ahead and keep him. Um, high movement is what we want. I think we'll bring the Wolverine. Or... Yeah, let's bring the Wolverine. So we've got jumpers this time. The Crusader is a jumper. Uh, using its LRMs. We got Actually, we might be having a little bit too many missiles this time around. Lots and lots of missiles this time. Maybe we'll dump the Crusader in favor of something on the ground. We always tend to bring the Thunderbolt. And it tends to do well, but its movement is so slow. I would hate to switch it out for something uh, that's, you know, medium and then get ripped up, but... Let's just bring the Thunderbolt. Let's just do it. Alright, um, Obsidian with his ability to manage heat is going in the Catapult. Let's see, we can put Banzai in the Brawler. Actually, maybe we'll switch this up. Maybe we'll put Obsidian in the Thunderbolt, Warbore in the Catapult, and the Wolverine, maybe Steeljaw. That might be a pretty good style. Gladiators in the Thunderbolt, Strikers in the Catapult, a Flankers in the Wolverine, and Recon is in the Brawler. Command interface initiated. Locate the VIP right in front of us. Get the evac. Pretty close. Right up the road here. Let's get this over with so we can go swimming. Commander. Copy that. Confirmed. I already met up with the enemy mech here. It's a wasp. In a reserve? Let it move forward. Oh, and it hit the Wolverine. That was just rude. Receiving you. And it's just out of our reach. All right. Well, we can sprint. I'm going to see if we see anything else. We do on the other side there. A phoenix hawk, nothing scary. A locust, kind of a joke. Standing by. Let's move. Yeah, we're gonna fire on the phoenix hawk. 
better accuracy with all those missiles. He's gonna jump, and I don't think that's gonna help with his stability. Waiting on you, Commander. Coordinates received. We'll fire everything at the Phoenix Hawk. Got it. Some pretty good hits there. He's unsteady. I didn't even see what that was. Alright, let's split this up. Let's put the AC-5 on the Wasp, because that should tear it up pretty badly. I think the rest I'm going to fire at the Phoenix Hawk. I'm going to shut off the SRMs, actually. I thought that would blow something off the wasp, but... Phoenix Hawk is jumping around, which doesn't help his mobility, or his, um, stability at all. We're gonna have fun with him in a second. We can actually run up and punch this locust. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to step on him. Left torso. I'm going to drive into the side of him there. Head injury, but didn't kill him. One of the reasons I like to punch him in the face rather than on the side, because then you have to drive through two layers before you can get to the center torso, whereas the front you can basically do the same thing. But... Also hit the you know legs and everything else. It's um, actually this guy is. Let's see. All right. Aye, aye. Probably going to split this up. We're going to put the small lasers here and the large lasers on the locust. Well. The large, the long-range missiles on the locust. Bad accuracy. Oh, we got him anyway. Just so many LRMs. One more for the kill board. One more for the kill board. Hey, an enforcer. Oh, settle down there. Oh, got through our rear armor there. Losing armor. Good to go. Yeah, let's get Steel Jaw with the Wolverine behind the Phoenix Hawk. Pretty horrible shooting there. I think we're gonna have to split these shots up if we want to do this. Let's send something after the Enforcer. Put the rest over here on the Phoenix Hawk. Uh -huh. Tapped him. Same thing. Enforcer, Phoenix Hawk. I'll take a look at the uh, Wasp, but I'm not that interested in it. Yeah, we're going to stay with that. The AC-5 on the Enforcer, everything else on the Phoenix Hawk. Engaging multiple targets. Good hits on the Enforcer. God, I'd hope that done more. Behind the Wolverine. Could have been worse. Good to go. I think we can just sit still here. We'll fire at the Enforcer with the LRMs. Splitting fire. Good hits. We can move into the tree line, maybe. We 
can walk up next to this guy. I think that's okay. Roger that. Receiving you. Banzai is going to move into the target zone and uh, probably try to take some shots at the enforcer On my way. with the medium lasers. Well, his uh, leg's pretty messed up. We got 75 damage we could possibly put on it. Uh, it's not going to happen with the precision strike. We'll just hit him with our three mediums. Good hits. One shot at the Enforcer, the rest is going to go after our Shadowhawk friend here. Got everything turned on. Engaging multiple targets. Finally exposed some structure on him. Surprised. Okay, we finally got a knockdown. Finally. Steeljaw should have fun with this. Turn off the uh, AC5. We'll set our torso this guy. Well, we still blew off his left arm. When I shoot you, you'll take it. We have the asset, Commander. Commander. <laughs> we could have able to sh hit him in the rear. Yes, we can. Received. Well, this is what you get. Turn your back on us. Jump jets. Report. Left torso, left arm. Tore it all off. Phoenix Hawks running. We'll hit him in the back with an alpha strike is everything except the small laser. Yeah, you would have thought that would have got him. We'll get him with the... Uh, oh, he ejected. Good call. I'd eject. Wouldn't have run, actually. Get Warbore to fall back. Moving out. Gonna have some more fun with this wasp here. Of course, send the LRMs at the Enforcer. Multiple enemies locked. Oh, one of them missed. Good hits, Steel Jaw. Okay, Steeljaw is going to split his shots up. He's going to send his AC after the Enforcer. The SRM's all on the Wasp. Got it. Got the right leg. Oh, and he ejects. When your Wasp loses a leg, you're pretty much done for. Orders. We're going to punch this guy in the face now. He doesn't have any armor anywhere left on his front. Targeting for physical attack. Center torsoed him. And that's that. Mech destroyed. All too easy. Successful. Everybody got their kills in. Nothing good. Not unexpected. We'll take the enforcer piece. A 
wasp. Sell it. Locust. There's lots of variations on this thing. Probably could have taken a closer look at those variations, but it's all right. Nice. Well, that was pretty easy. We're not really taking much in the way of hits on our mechs. Lots of light stuff is not really putting any pressure on us. All right, that went pretty well. I think uh, we should probably brought the kid on that mission just because of all the forests and things. That's kind of his MO. The breaching shot is really nice when you're in the forest. And uh, that PPC is really good when you have that breaching shot. All right, you guys take care. Thanks for joining. Have a great day. In the next episode, we're going to be doing a little bit harder stuff. So hopefully we can keep our mechs together and clean out this planet. See you next time.